History Month presentation. Ooh, good idea. Bart, what are you doing for Black History Month? I got an idea. You can march to Selma and tell her she's ugly. <laughs> Listen, April 20th, 1860. A week ago, I had no idea what the future would bring, which I guess is always true of everyone all the time. Anyway, last Saturday night, I went to Colonel Burns's ball. I don't like this new Viennese dance craze, the waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. Where's the four? All music needs a four. I'll have the orchestra adjust its time signature, sir. See that you do. One, one, four, four. I slipped out of the ball and made my way to the stables where I was to meet Mr. Burns' slave, Virgil. But when I got to the stables, he was nowhere to be seen. Virgil! Virgil, let's go! You look like you could use a little help. Actually, I'm here to help you. Follow me north to freedom. I don't think so. Why, because I'm young and I'm a woman? No, because you're pointing south. <laughs> oh, right, right. Sorry. It's my first time. That's all right. It's my 14th. As we made our way northward, a couple of patrollers spotted us. Well, well, well. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Run! After them. But obviously. Well, you didn't say it. Hearts pounding. We fled into the woods, but their horses were fast. Can you believe we're married to those nerds? <laughs> <laughs> there are no books about an Eliza Simpson, but I did find this. Ooh, a cookbook! <gasps> That's Eliza's mother! Martha, you are the best! Pork butt and cream, snout fried neck, frog haunch, hooves au juice, possum pouch pie. Please don't make those recipes. This one doesn't sound rogue killy, and it comes with a story. Many years ago, my daughter Eliza brought a runaway slave, Virgil, to the house. <gasps> they made it back to the house? How? The patrollers were too fast for Eliza and Virgil. 